Would this tree concern you? What if I told you there was a house right here? This tree certainly meets all the requirements to be a concern, but just because the tree leans doesn't mean that it's gonna fall. It's been like this for years. It wasn't until I spotted this very large transverse crack on one of the main tension roots that the likelihood of failure became imminent and the risk severe. This tree was brought to our attention at the end of a day, a work day, right before a hurricane. The next thing we had to do was notify anybody who could be affected by this tree, the neighbors. And when we showed up the second day, the crack looked like it had actually grown some. This tree is a ticking time bomb. I'm an ISA certified arborist, and I've been through the track qualification. And most tree risk assessments are usually a year, two years, and up north sometimes up to five years. This tree would not last through any of those time frames. Therefore, this danger is in. The access was limited to the yard. Luckily, we have a 124 foot crane with a 40 ton capacity. Even so, it doesn't mean I can pick the whole tree up in one swoop. We had to piece this tree out small. And the first goal was to lighten it up. This first limb we removed allowed access for the backyard lift to get up into the tree canopy. And if you just focus on the time lapse, you can see how windy it was. Hurricane Nicole was to arrive tomorrow. Whew, with the second piece of wood off, this tree was looking a lot safer. Just a matter of taking off all of the leaders so we can work on that heavy wood. This tree had such an extensive lean that our backyard lift forced the guy to step out of his lift in order to make the strap. We take off lead by lead, judging from the capacity of the crane while referring to my load chart, and our previous experience when dealing with wood as well as wood density chart, ensures that we always pick the right size piece and don't overload the crane. After several liters were removed, it is said that the crack had started to shrink. I was feeling pretty confident this tree wouldn't fail now. This tree was so large, and being oak, the wood is very dense. We didn't have room to bring the crane for a closer pick. We had to remove a piece of the fence to deal with this wood a different way. This tree did have other issues. There's a cavity right here, but that doesn't mean the tree is going to fail. We'll go into that later. With all the limbs removed, this tree had a totally different risk rating. And let's zoom in here on this crack and see just how scary it really is. It looks like it had closed up some, although the wood fibers probably filled the void. While I am a huge advocate for leaving as much habitat as possible, this tree just had to be removed entirely. The homeowners aren't going to want to spend thousands more dollars to have us come out a second time for a decaying piece of wood that's going to fall on their fence again and potentially impact people, even though the risk rating of impacting people is very low. We couldn't just drop this whole pole in their backyard. We had to take it apart piece by piece. A solid undercut with a top cut ensures the piece will drop straight down and not do some kind of peel at the lift or something. This is some beefy wood. I'm using an 046 with a 32 inch bar. Have you ever seen what it looks like when a couple thousand pound piece of wood falls from the sky and impacts something? Well, you're about to right here. Well, I said impact something. In a way, it did impact the grass and the rock. Thumbs up for that. Now let's speed it up and get to the second piece and make my undercut and my top cut. How much more force do you think would apply if the log landed vertically in the ground? I will say quite a bit more force, but it didn't really matter because we were going to drop the whole pole in this area eventually. Now let's drop the whole crown on top of that other log. Let's see what that looks like. Never stand within two times the distance of the height of the tree because those bits of flying bark when they impact can shoot really far. And we just got to take one more section of wood so the pole will be short enough that we can drop the whole thing. This tree still has a significant lean, so when I cut my bed, it's best to just follow it with the lean. Even so, we don't throw trees without a rope on them. A control line, something to influence it just that little bit to keep it in the right. And with the rope set, I just want to show you how little this guy looks. This guy is so big. Me. Look at him. Now it's just a matter of setting a time lapse up so I can cut a bed. Look at how windy it's already getting. Hurricane Nicole will be here tomorrow. It's a really good thing we dealt with this tree and had enough time to deal with it before Hurricane see Nicole. After cutting my bed, I can see yeah. the extent of the decay inside of the trunk. My bed actually met some of the decayed wood. And with just a little sliver of a cut on the back, this tree will fall like a sack of potatoes. Then, of course, the tree's not done with throwing curveballs. There's a piece of metal in it, too. Make a final stump cut. This is the analysis. If I don't get a chance to make this point, 
for a tree even as big as that laurel oak with the lean as significant as that laurel oak less than six inches is all she needs to stay up that's what she said just kidding but the main point i'm trying to portray is that we got to stop killing trees for no reason if you don't see something imminent like a large transverse crack or some reason like a dead tree or something maybe we should consider what other options are available before we just resort to cutting down every tree that has a problem because all trees are living creatures living organisms and they all have problems just like you and i let's save the trees this is what being a certified arborist is all about doing as much research as you possibly can to preserve and maintain trees our goal is to preserve the organisms and ecosystems that preserve us. We humans are just a small part in a network of biological systems. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe to this channel and watch out for future videos. I'm making a comeback. Making a video like this takes a good bit of time and time is money. But the question is, what's more valuable? The opportunity to share the knowledge I've gained through these years with y'all and potentially save just a few trees or a few dollars. The value is obvious trees are way more important than a few dollars and unfortunately tree guys get a bad rap because everybody who can afford to buy a chainsaw and has a pickup truck is now a tree service so do your research know who you're hiring look at their reputation and their reviews we'll see you next time